Hello everyone, welcome back to Force Fellow. My name is Ashok. Today in this video, we will see how we can insert parent and child records together using single DML statement in Apex. So if you are someone who is working as a Salesforce developer, then this video is very important for you in which you will learn lots of new and important things if you will watch it till the end, alright? So you know, generally if you want to insert parent and child records together in database, then we often use two DML statements. First is to insert parent record and second is to insert child record. Why? Because if you want to create child record, then we have to pass parent record ID as reference. So that's why first we have to insert parent record, then refer its ID into child and then finally we can insert child record using another DML statement. Right. Now, to better understand this point, let's refer a simple use case. Here, let's say we have a requirement to create an account with contact record without writing custom trigger or using any automation tools. It means here we have to create an account and contact record together where account will be parent and contact will be child. Right. Now, if you want to achieve this requirement using Apex, then we have to write code something like this. Here, first we have created an object of account and then assign value in name field and then using insert DML statement, insert this record into database. Now, you might be thinking why we have used this insert statement here. So the reason behind this is, you know, if you want to create a contact under an account, then account ID will be required. And this insert DML statement will do two things. First it will return this record into database and then it will assign newly inserted record ID into ID property of this SAC object. So now we can use that account ID with contact record. Okay. And here on line number five, we have created an object of contact and then assigned value in last name field and then also assigned value in account ID field. This account ID field is the relationship field between account and contact object. So here as a value, we can assign parent account ID. That's why here we have assigned acc.id. It means newly inserted account ID, right? And here on line number nine, we have used another insert DML statement to insert contact record. Okay. Now let me execute this code and show you. Code executed successfully. Now let's verify that records are created or not. You can see first demo contact is created and in account name field first demo account as value which means this first demo account is the parent of this first demo contact okay so generally this is how we can insert parent and child records into database all right this approach is fine if we are going to create only one parent and child record but if we talk about another scenario where we have to create multiple records let's say 100 accounts with contacts, then this approach will not work. Because here as you can see, to insert one parent and child record, we have used two DML statements. So in this way, to insert 100 records, we will require 200 DML statements. And as you know, Apex has a governor limit of 150 DML statements per transaction, which means using this approach, we won't be able to achieve that requirement, right? For better understanding, let me show you an example. Here, simply we are running a loop till 100. Under this loop, we are creating an object of account and contact and use two different DML statements to insert these records into database. Now, to run this code, let's select this code and click on this execute highlighted button. Alright, here you can see a too many DML statements exception. Why? because we have used two DML statements inside this loop and this loop is running 100 times which means at runtime this code is trying to perform 200 DML operations and those are out of the per transaction governor limit, right? So definitely this approach is not a good approach. I mean we should not use separate DML operations for each record, right? Now here you might be thinking that can't we perform bulk DML operations and insert multiple records using single DML operation, then answer will be yes, we can. 
because you know in 1dml operation salesforce allow us to insert up to 10000 records so definitely we can insert 100 records using single dml statement as well like this here we have declared two list variables to hold accounts and contacts and here we are running a loop till 100 now under this loop creating new object of account and assigning dummy value in name field and adding this object into accounts list and here similarly creating contact object and assigning dummy value in last name field and adding this object into contacts list it means at runtime in these lists this loop will add 100 accounts and 100 contacts right now outside of this loop here we have used two insert statements and passed accounts and contacts list okay now at runtime what will happen this first dml statement will insert all the accounts and second will insert all the contacts but these contacts will not have any relation with accounts why because here we didn't pass any value in account id field of contact object so these contacts will not have any relationship with account right and you know under this loop account id is not yet generated because that will generate once record will insert into database and as we have seen due to governor limits we can't insert this account here inside loop right so this is a major challenge we generally face while inserting multiple related records in single go but in apex there is a way to relate records even without providing the code id as well i mean in such kind of situations where we don't have parent id generated or available and still we want to relate a record with childs without parent record id then in apex we can use external id field now let's see how we can achieve this requirement using external id field or how we can relate records by using external id so in order to achieve this requirement first of all we have to create an external id field on the parent object in our current use case parent object is account so let's create an external id field on the account object and for that let's navigate to object manager and click on account here click on fields and relationship and now here let's click on new now here to create external id field we can select email number or text as data type for now let's select number and click on next now here let's fill all these fields and to create external id field we have to check this checkbox and also we should check this unique checkbox as well so it will prevent from duplicate values now let's click on next and here click on save okay so this is how we can create external id field on parent object now next step says create the object of parent and assign the value in all the required or optional fields including external id field so here you can see we have created an object of account which is the parent and assign value in name field as of now we only want to pass value in name field you can pass in other fields as well if that is your requirement okay now here let's assign value in external id field as well okay here we have written external id field name and passed i as value now next step says create the another object of the parent and assign value only in external id field so let's create that as well all right here we have created another account object with account reference name and assign value only in external id field okay and as per next step create the object of child and populate its required and optional fields in our case child is contact so here we are already creating object of contact and assigning value in name field right now Next step says set the parent key field of the child as object to the parent reference as object that you just created. 
it means now here in child as object we have to assign this parent reference but where in foreign key field that is account in our case because this is a standard relationship we have between account and contact but in case of custom relationship field we will use underscore underscore r with field name instead of underscore underscore c okay for example here in contact object i also created one more custom lookup field with account object and name is demo account so now if you want to assign parent demo account then here we will use field name as demo underscore account underscore underscore r and can assign this account reference which has value only in external id field like like this okay for now let me write account here because we want to set value in account field of contact object not in demo account right demo account field we just created for demo purpose okay now let's try to execute this code and see what happens code executed successfully now let's open accounts list all right here with each contact we can see value in account name field even without providing account id now let's understand how this happen internally or what salesforce is doing under the hood so while performing insert or update operation whenever salesforce found parent reference as value in relationship field then salesforce will internally fetch parent record id based on that external id value from parent object and map that record id in relationship field okay so this is how we can relate records by using an external id or we can say this is how we can insert related records even without passing parent record id let me repeat all the steps once more i believe that will help you to remember so if you want to insert related records without passing parent record id then first we need to create an external id field on parent object then while inserting parent record we need to pass value in that external id field like this and while creating child record we need to pass an parent reference in child relationship field in case of custom relationship field we need to add underscore underscore r with field name and in parent reference we only need to pass value in external id field like this we should not assign value in other fields else we will get an error let me show you practically by assigning value in other fields as well like let's assign value in name field as well now let's try to execute this code we got an error duplicate value found in external id okay so let's start this loop from 100 till 200 and try again all right now you can see a different error here which says more than one field provided in an external foreign key reference in entity okay so in reference object we only need to provide value in external id field i hope this point is clear to you like how we can create related records without passing parent record id and as compared to the previous approach this approach is the better one but still here we are using two dml statements first is to insert accounts and second is to insert contacts now the question is can we insert all these records using single dml statement then answer will be yes we can because if we talk about input type that we can pass with this dml statement then here we can pass single s object or list of s objects and you know every salesforce object inherits from the s object standard class even standard and custom objects so we can say s object is the parent for all the standards and custom objects in salesforce which means with dml statements we can pass records from multiple objects because at the end they all are s object right now let me show you practically how we can insert all these records using single dml statement so first let me comment out these dml statements now let's write code
okay here what i have done first i have created a s object list variable and then using add all method assigning all the accounts into this variable and then similarly assigning contacts okay and as i said every salesforce object inherits from s object class so in this s object list we can assign any type of object record whether that is account contact opportunity or any salesforce object record all right now at last here with insert statement we have passed this records variable which means at run time this records variable will have all the accounts and contacts so this insert dml statement will insert all the records into database right now let's try to execute this code and see what happens code is successfully executed now let's check in contacts list all right here with new contacts also we can see value in account name field which means using single dml statement as well we can create related records using external id field right here one more thing i would like to highlight that instead of this insert dml statement we can use database.insert method as well database.insert method also takes s object or list of s objects as input okay if you don't know when we should use database methods or dml statements or you want to know difference between these then do let me know in the comments we'll create a separate video on this topic okay now before wrapping this video let's see few important points that you should keep in mind while inserting related records in single call or using single dml statement so if you want to insert related records without passing parent record id then as we have seen in apex we can use external id field as foreign key and we can also call that field as name pointing field second point we have you can create related records up to 10 levels deep it means you can create child still 10 levels deep like under account you can create contact and under contact you can create other object data similarly you can create 10 levels child records okay next point is parent s objects must precede the child s object in that array because records are saved in the same order that they are entered in the s objects input array it means you know we can pass s object array to dml statements as input so in that array all the parent records should be added prior to child records for example here we can't add contacts prior to accounts if we'll add contacts prior to accounts then we will get an error let me show you that practically by adding contacts prior to accounts all right you can see a foreign key error here okay i hope this point is clear to you now that always parent records should be added prior to child records next point is related records in a single call must have different s object types it means if we have parent and child records from same s object type then we will get an error for example let's say we have a parent account field created on account object which has lookup relationship with account object only it means this field has self relationship now if we try to insert account and parent account both using single dml statement then that is not possible okay so that's it in this video where we have covered how we can create parent and child records using single dml statement in apex and in next video i'll cover few important points that we should keep in mind while creating multiple s objects data using single dml statement those points are very important for every salesforce developer so please subscribe this youtube channel that will help you to get notifications about new videos if this video helped you to learn something new then please like and share this video and also don't forget to share your feedback in comments that will really give me motivation to create more such kind of videos for you thank you so much again we'll see you in next video